Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about how to do static code analysis with find bugs. As a developer or a test automation engineer, in your coding experience, have you ever made coding mistakes like forgot to recycle a system resource after using it? Or compare two strings using the equal operator in Java instead of using the equal method. And why you made those mistakes was not because you didn't know the correct way of doing it. It was just because of some random carelessness. And sometimes these mistakes could even escape from the code review process. As a code reviewer, do you think you can catch all bad coding practices, logical errors, code vulnerabilities, multi-thread errors, performance issues, or security issues in the code being reviewed every time? As a dev manager or a test manager, do you need a way to increase code quality of your product dramatically, quickly, and easily? In this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve these problems by doing static code analysis with find bugs. Here's the content that will be covered. Firstly, what is static code analysis? And why do we need to do it? And what static code analysis cannot do for you? What is find bugs? How to use find bugs locally in your Maven project. How to integrate find bugs into your continuous integration build. Firstly, static code analysis is to test the quality of your code through scanning your source code. Normally, it will be done by use a tool to do a scan on your source code. The tool will identify the potential bugs exist in your source code and finally generate a report on these bugs and where is these bugs found in your source code. Static code analysis doesn't require an application on a test to be started because it only need access to your source code and then do some scanning against those source code. So why do we need to do static code analysis? The primary reason I can see is the quality of your code review will be increased immediately. Why? Because the process of static code analysis is exactly the same as doing a code review by human. The only difference is the code reviewer is replaced by a robot. And the advantage of using a static code analysis tool to review your code is it can do a lot better than human in quickly finding code issues like bad coding practices, logical errors, code vulnerabilities, multi-thread errors, performance issues, and security issues. The second reason is it can save cost because it enables finding bugs in an earlier stage rather than in later stages like integration test or system end-to-end -end test. There is a well-known theory in software testing. The earlier a bug is fixed, the lower the cost is required for fixing it. If you are not sure about this knowledge, you may refer to my another video, which quickly explains software testing basics. The video link can be found in the description of this video. What static code analysis cannot do for you? Obviously, it cannot test your business logic because your application under test hasn't been started yet when doing the static code analysis. Now I'm going to introduce a tool named FindBugs 
which is used to do static code analysis for Java source code. Find bugs provides three ways of using it. Firstly, it can be downloaded and installed, then use it locally in a standalone mode. It can also be used as a Maven plugin in your Maven project. It can also be integrated with CI tools like Jenkins and TeamCity. Now, let me show you how to use FindBugs as a Maven plugin in your Maven project. Alright, I'm going to give you a demo on using FindBugs to do static code analysis on a Java Maven project and generate a HTML based report for it. Now, I have created an empty Maven project. I'm going to firstly add a report configuration for find bugs to generate the report like this. So here we add the find bugs maven plugin into the palm reporting section. And this is the version I use for this plugin and some configurations for find bugs to use. The first one, effort. Setting the effort to max, it means ask find bugs to find as many bugs as possible. Threshold is set to low, it means ask find bugs to report all the bugs it found during the scan. Now let me add some Java source code for find bugs to scan. So here I will inject a sample coding error into this program like this. Okay, here is the error I injected. As we can see, there is a string array which stores command line arguments of this Java program. Here, I am doing some comparison of the first element of this array and the second element of this array with an equal operator, which is not correct. But the correct way of comparing these two string elements should be using the equal method, like this. Right? Now if I use FindBox to scan this source code, our expectation is FindBox should be able to detect this error and show it in the report. Now let's test it. Okay, I'm inside my Maven project folder. Now I'm going to run a Maven command to do the static code analysis with find bugs and generate a HTML based report. In this command, the most important part is the compile and cite. It means ask Maven to firstly compile your source code and then use find bugs to do the scanning. Finally, provide a HTML-based report within the site generated 
for the Maven project. Now let's run it. Okay, let's go to the project folder and view the HTML report. Okay, now I am inside my project folder. The HTML report generated by FindBox can be found inside the target folder, the site, and findbox.html. Let's open it. Okay, here is the bug report. So one bug was found. The bug detail is described here. Comparison of string objects using equal or not equal operator in the main method, which is the one we injected. This is a bad coding practice and it happens inside this source code file at line 6. The priority is medium. And it also provides a detailed description for this type of error at here. So it tells you more details about this error here and give you some suggestion for fixing this bug like consider using the equal method okay we have seen how to use find bugs to scan your source code locally and generate a html report locally now i'm going to give you a demo on how to make this Maven build fail if there is any bug detected by find bugs. To do that, instead of only generating a HTML report, but let the build pass. Now I'm going to remove the reporting plugin firstly. And then use the find bugs Maven plugin as a build plugin. Okay, I've added the FindBox Maven plugin as a build plugin into this POM file. We use the same plugin ID and same version and same configuration. We use a different goal of this plugin, which is the check. And you have to bind this go to a Maven phase later than the Maven test phase. Here I choose prepare package phase, which is the next phase after the Maven test phase. Now let's run this project again to see if it will fail. Okay, here I am inside my project folder. I'm going to run this Maven command. This command will enable Maven to firstly compile our source code and use find bugs to scan the compiled source code and fail the build if there is any bug found by the find bugs. Let's run it. As expected, the build has failed because a bug was found by find bugs at here. And you can view more details about this bug at here. Now I'm going to give you a final demo 
on how to integrate static code analysis with your CI build. Here, I'm going to use Team City to do the demo. The objective of this demo is to enable Team City to detect the results generated by find bugs and fail the Team City build if there is any bug detected by find bugs. Okay, in order to enable Team City to detect the results generated by find bugs, we need to add two extra configurations. The first configuration tells FindBugs to generate a XML file which contains the scan result. The second one tells FindBugs to put the XML file into a pass. Here I set the pass at this directory and a subdirectory FindBugs. This directory is actually the target folder when you run the Maven build. Okay, I will commit this change and push it to my GitHub. After that, let's go to Team City to create a build for this project. Okay, now I am inside the Team City build I created for my Maven project. What you need to do is add a build feature by click on build features and click add build feature. Select the XML report processing. And choose find bugs as report type. Here you tell Team City the path to the XML file which contains the result generated by find bugs. So here I provide this path where I configured in my project. Finally save it. Now let's run the build. All right, the build has completed. Obviously, this build failed because of the code inspection, which means the find bugs static code analysis. And we can see there is a problem found. Let's view the report. In this page, we can see the error found was just the one we injected. And we can see the detailed description of this error here. All right, that's all I want to cover today about using find bugs to do static code analysis. However, static code analysis can be conducted from multiple dimensions by using some other useful tools. I will also introduce them in my future videos. If you are interested, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the icon displayed at the right bottom corner in your screen. If you think this video is useful, please also share, like, or comment. See you next time.